played from beginning to end. Bill Gates' life played from beginning to end. And God now, the name that he calls is the name of the man who calls the least amount of hell on earth and would go to heaven. Great pause. And then the creator says, Edward John Smith. He goes to heaven. Bill Gates is, is standing there. He's about to be cast into the lake of fire, a burning hell. And he says, God, please, please, before you cast me into hell, please tell me why. Why am I going to hell? How can this be? I am the designer and the engineer of the great Windows operating system on earth. And God looked him in the face and said, the Titanic only crashed once. <laughs> Before I um, say a prayer for you tonight, to acknowledge God's presence. It is <clears throat> commensurate on me to uh, just give you a few highlights about the man and the wife be behind him that have created Jita. I'd like to say to you tonight, only in Zimbabwe, thank God for Zimbabwe. Thank God for those that went before us. Thank God for my honorable minister. As a little boy, I listened to you on the radio. It's taken all these years to see you in person. <laughs> I, I am excited. <laughs> my brother here, we have heard, we have seen. Just like to acknowledge your courage in the struggles for this day to be possible. I'd like to say tonight, my friend Chum, I would like to say he's a Bill Gates, but he's not. He's just a humble human being, born of humble parentage. But by the grace of God, we are here today to have this launch. Do you know why? Never look down on anybody because of where he comes from. That's not where you began, that's your destiny. Yeah. Chum came into this place and uh, Harari and he, he worked as a Bible worker for my organization. But he had the gift of the gap. He could talk you into buying anything. He, he's the type of guy that could sell ice in China and in Iceland at the same time. <laughs> Chum, one day, somebody saw his talent and threw him in, into an office, and said, from this day on, you will sell cars. And Chum hadn't even sold a bicycle. <laughs> so he came to the office, gave him a telephone, and said, from now on, you will sell cars. And I want to thank the Lord by his grace. Chum became one of the greatest sales car salesmen in Zimbabwe. Today, I would like to congratulate my son. We have come a long, long way. We have had some bitter struggles along life's highway. Because at the end of the day, it would not be commensurate on us to have all these launches and then land up in hell. When he needs straightening out, we straighten him out. When he needs encouragement, we encourage him. But today, as his pastor for many years, I would like to thank God for this man and his life. Only in Zimbabwe can a nobody become a somebody. Yes. Only
Zimbabwe in Zimbabwe. Our great country. Brethren, I want to say to you today, don't you worry. Would you rather be today in Sudan? No. Huh? No, no, we always go, oh, this is here. Yeah, go to Sudan, you won't even get to your doorstep before a bullet gets into your neck. <laughs> yeah. We are always complaining, huh? What are you complaining about? We're wearing Pierre Dem suits in Zimbabwe, amen. amen. Even via they came from China. It's okay. <laughs> 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 we wear, we wear, and, and, and we save, and, and, and we have everything here, amen. amen. And as I look at you today, and look at the strides that have been made, a few mistakes have been made. So what? So what? This man and his wife are living testimonies to the greatness of Zimbabwe. Where a nobody with no future can today ride with the stars. When he said, Pastor, come to the launch, I didn't know what a launch was. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but I was so happy today that I have come to the launch of my son. And you are all gathered here today. That's not where you've come from. That's not who your parents were. It's who you are. This man has a great attitude. And because of his great attitude, today he has altitude. Charm's always smiling. Amen. <laughs> that's the gift God has. And that's why he uses Colgate every morning, so that his teeth are always shining. <laughs> He's got a great smile. And for those of you that are always looking on the dark side of things, take a page from this young man. And as this thing began tonight, there was all those stars. Did you see that? And in my heart of hearts, I said, thank God, for in Zimbabwe, we can have our own stars. We can have our own brand. Chitao. Only in Zimbabwe can this have become a reality. Let us pray and thank Almighty God for this day. Eternal Father, we come tonight and we just want to thank you for the great day that this is for a son of the soil has achieved greatness we want to thank thee dear lord for this product and we ask dear lord through your grace and your mercy no matter how high we fly we can never fly higher than heaven May he always keep humble and always remember whence he came from and where he is going. Thank you for this gathering tonight. We pray in the almighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who came down so that we could become sons and daughters of the Most High. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. I know a lot of the ladies are happy that uh, we didn't invite a Catholic priest. Not to say anything bad about the Catholic priest, but uh, you're all looking lovely. And you wouldn't want to kneel up and down, like kneel down, like your dress is a little nice. <laughs> anyway, um, a few corrections to protocol. Uh, we have to observe protocol. I uh, want to welcome Honorable Minister Shamu and Honorable Amai Shamu. Minister Chikukwa of Harare Metropolitan, Honorable Murai, Honorable Chinotimba, Comrade Shumba Yawanda, and Mr. Chagwiza. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to kindly ask that we pay attention to the screen and watch the next video. Thank you.
What I'm looking at is my phone is a phone that I can go on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on Twitter, I can Google, get Google results, get all, all the news that I want in the world. What I look for in a smartphone is Facebook, WhatsApp and a good camera. And it should be very fast, the internet should be good and everything should be like a world class phone. Uh, in the meeting, I mean, I'm a smartphone. What I'm looking for in a smartphone, I'm looking for an all-in-one office, something that's simple and easy to use, not just for me, but for my kids, something that's unbreakable, and something that's easily findable, because most of us can't find it at the bottom of our handbags. What I want in a smartphone, it should be slick, slim, beautiful, it should be a wow smartphone. I would also expect it to have some upgradable applications, it should be user friendly, it should be, the, the screen should be sensitive, easier to use. What I look for in a smartphone is the camera just to have a lot of megapixels for high definition and high resolution and it has to have a lot of internal memory so I can store a lot of things and it has to have fast internet connection and the research so I can do my research properly. Yes. What I look for in a smartphone is Facebook and WhatsApp. <laughs> and now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage the founder and CEO of GTEL, Mr. Shumba. As he presents to us the reason for our gathering here tonight, the A750 Explorer MX1. MX1. Minister, sir, and am I thank you for coming. Honorable Minister Chuku, to not apologize. Sometimes I'm going to never know no need. You're holding my foot. But thank you very much for coming. Thank you. I have also Honorable Murai. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> Honorable Chilos. Comrade Shumbaya and Vice Marshal, thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming, sir. I see T. Pemsek Chagwiza, thank you very much, sir, for coming. Uh, when you plan an event, you are scared because you don't know what it shall be. Will the people come? Will they not come? But when you come and find a full house like this, you are more than humbled because you realize whatever it is that you're doing in your own small way, people can notice it. And that is very, very important to us. And your presence here is just testimony to say we will continue doing what we, been, what we have been doing and I want to thank you. Uh, in terms of protocol, there is so many that I wish I could mention my name. 
there is CEOs, there is uh, chief finance officers, there is HR directors, there is shop owners, there is, and everyone that is here, you are more than important to us. And for that, I want to welcome you and thank you for coming tonight. Let me give you a brief history of GTA, where we have come from and where we are. And um, my IT guy, his name is Rutin GTEL's growth over the years, Minister, you remember where we started from. You have been with us, and I am glad that you are here today. You can hear my voice is a bit excited because things are happening. But if you look at the graph, unfortunately, it looks uh, zoomed. But uh, from 2011, we were still, you remember, we used to be called by a name that we don't want anymore. We used to be called GTEL. We are now GTEL. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that was not such a good name and a good product. But over the years, we have seen a steady growth. And uh, Minister, these days, times are hard in Zimbabwe for many companies. But for us as GTEL, we have been able to see a steady growth even in these very hard times. And for that, we want to thank the Zimbabwean market for believing in the brand GTEL. Another exciting thing for us that has happened through the years is we have been able to keep most of our customers. There was a time when anyone who bought a GTI ran away. <laughs> now we keep almost all of our customers. 50% of our customers that we get are repeat customers. And that for us is a great step. But the exciting thing for me is that 30% of our customers are running away from Samsung. I <laughs> wish <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering who left Samsung. 30% of our smartphone users will tell you I don't need Samsung. But okay, let me not go there. But that is no better. Chi chi chi. 5% uh, is Apple. Not because the, because there are already few Apple users in Zimbabwe. And 15% is from other brands. And for us, we say when people leave, want to come to you. We we promise to look after you. We promise to make continue making innovative products. Products that are exciting. Uh, also something that has happened that is exciting for us is we have slowly been moving, not slowly, but 95% of our phones now are smartphones. And that is good news for operators because the more people use smartphones, the more you have to do with them. You can offer them too many things as long as they are on, on smartphones. Feature phones are only, actually, we only have one model, the G104 which is a feature phone. Everything else is a smartphone. And everything is uh, more, 80 85% is Android 4.0 and above. And only 15% are still using Android 2.3. And that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for a Zimbabwe company, Honorable Minister, Trubuchov. Thank you very much. And we think that the reasons for why people are beginning to believe in the digital brand is because maybe the marketing that we've been doing, thank you to Mr. Gonya and his team, and you've been doing a good job. I think if you never heard us on Radio 10, to Radio Zimbabwe, and Power FM, and Star FM, and Shakuruta. Pricing, <laughs> pricing is another reason. We always try and give the best price because other brands, they have this, what they call delivery chain. It must be made in Korea. I shall not say that it's Samsung. Then it must go to Dubai, who is responsible for Africa. Then it must go to South Africa, who is responsible for Zimbabwe. Then it must come to the Samsung agent in Zimbabwe, who then gives to the shop, and everybody's putting a mug up, mug up, mug up. But we take it straight from the oven and give it to you. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen Pastor. Amen. Another issue, I think, is that people are beginning to see the relevance. You know, when you continue doing something and people start believing, I think you are seeing that our products are more relevant. You find uh, all papers that are to do with Zimbabwe, our weather is to do with Zimbabwe, our all, everything that we do is done with Zimbabwe for Zimbabwe. And the, other, the last part, which is most important, is most Zimbabweans are beginning to support local companies. And that is a good story. If you have any other reason not to use, if you're thinking, ah, GTL, just use it because it's a Zimbabwean product. Amen. Pride in our own products is a good story. Amen. Pastor. 
Amen. So let's, uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to this amazing product that I have for you tonight. The A750 MX1. MX1 is a... Okay. <coughs> it is an amazing, beautiful, feels right in the hand. It feels, you know, it is just so nice. I was saying to someone, this one, if you're not very careful, and you'll see we use it as a pay of life, it can create the most amazing love relationship that can happen between men and technology. It is just so nice. The size is good. Uh, the, everything is just beautiful. But let me introduce you. This is what it looks like. This is the front rotating camera. Is the key feature that I'm here to talk to you about. It is clean. You know the clean design. Not too many. What, 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 what on the side? Only two buttons on the side. Volume up and down and power which is what we also use for your... You don't see you? Screenshot. Uh, pressure. <laughs> Mic, back cover, different colors, jewel, speaker. When you turn the camera, you don't have to worry. The speaker is both sides. And it is a, just a smart, clean design. Uh, two SIM cards is a center in a jitter. But it is so clean. Like how you do on your iPhone, you press there's a SIM tray that comes out and you put your two SIM cards in there. I will be doing later a bit of demonstration on this phone and I hope that our engineer by then, he will be ready. I will also go through very quickly on the specifications. I know that you don't care about them, you care about user and what you do when you use the phone. Specifications, it is a 4.7 HD display, 128 by 720 Corning, Gorilla Glass. Corning Gorilla Glass, if you Google it, you will see it is one of the toughest does not scratch. I've been playing with mine for some time now and it is beautiful. 1.7 octa-core, 8 cores. More than a lot of laptops and uh, 7, 8 cores that are octa-cores. 1.7 Cortex is the company. 16 GB internal memory with 1 gig of RAM. The battery is also very important. 2.2, 2200 amp hour battery. Uh, it's not the number that matters. It's important for you to know that this is a product that you can use from morning to evening without needing to look for a charge. It is a dual SIM phone, which is a Sennheim and Jitter, and it uses Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. And I know you'll be saying, you can't call us to be launching 4.2.2 when we are now at 4.4 KitKat. But before I go there, let me just ask our engineer to play another video to show you before I start talking about the user experience on this phone. folding and folding is to show you what life is all about 
And what if you could do all those things in life through your mobile phone? And cities could be built. <laughs> City life can be done. Arranging of air tickets and airlines. Booking your restaurant at uh, Garway that you are coming to eat. Everything that you do, if you could only do it through the use of a cell phone. And we said, maybe it can be done. There's bigger brands that are doing it, and we as Gita, we are able to do it. The user interface, ladies and gentlemen, which I call the closest love relationship between men and technology. We thought about it. We thought about every detail that you want on a cell phone. Every single detail. There is four parts to the user interface. First of all, how easy it is to navigate through this phone. The second part, which is uh, uh, how to don't move. How to you the, the phone itself and how to use the phone itself. The other issue is the care story, how to deal with your memory, how to make sure that your phone does not become slow, and all those issues. And the last one, which is the fun one, is how to play with your phone, how to take pictures, how to play music, how to play games. And I'm going to share with you, I'll try to be as quick as I can because uh, I know that uh, it should not take too much time. My, uh, let's move to the next slide. Okay, there's something happening. They are trying to fix so that we. Uh, no, no, I'm not doing them. I'm doing the slide. Okay, I will jump and do the demo because the, te the technician says do the demo so that I don't do slides. The first thing, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that it is. Do I need this? Taiwan's the technology, actually. <laughs> Taiwan's. Yeah, Let's do the slide. Okay. Let's go kill it. Next one. <laughs> User interface. Thank you. We seem like we're moving now. Uh, for that glitch, I allow you to, anytime you feel thirsty, hot, the drinks are outside. Mom, 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 to your show. The user interface, as I will be demonstrating later, I hope we will not have these glitches. As you can see, we have reduced on the normal stock Android. Your home screen is full of applications. You can scroll and scroll and scroll and miss it because the screen is what is too full. We have reduced it to only uh, 12 that move. These don't move, and we have put a default weather app that does not move. And as I said, whether you're able to set weather uh, this morning on my phone, I was able to see that in Merengo it is five degrees. So I phoned my mother. I said, hey, mama, go to so I said, hey, mama, go to the So we, it, has, it has been simplified. We have tried to simplify as much as we can. On calling, we have also simplified it. You are able to save the image of the person that is calling, so when they call, you can see them, you are able to record the call, you are able to share the call, you are able to...